Your decision to learn more about pivot tables means this is an exciting time for you in Excel. Pivot tables provide another tool to allow you to make sense of and clearly communicate data to others. But if you're just getting started, or even if you've been exposed to pivot tables before but never really been taught what they are and how they work, learning some of the basics will help you work more easily and with more confidence and know when pivot tables can be beneficial. What you need to know to do so includes knowing what a pivot table is, what pivot tables can do, and what parts there are that make up pivot tables. At that point, it becomes important to understand what data works best in pivot tables and how pivot tables have evolved through the last few versions of Excel so you can identify which features are available to you. Naturally, you need to know how to create pivot tables. And occasionally, you'll want to know how to easily review the detailed data behind the summary calculations, as well as utilize general pivot table tools that are available as you work. This combination of pivot table theory and functional skills will allow you to assess your data and create pivot tables to better summarize your data. I realize that you may be perfectly happy entering, editing, and analyzing data in traditional Excel spreadsheets. I do hate to be the one to cause discontent, but sometimes you don't know what you don't know. Because of this, the first step to using pivot tables is understanding why you need them. Before you can even ask why you need them, you kind of need to ask what exactly it is you're talking about to begin with. The combination of these two allows you to see what benefits there will be so you're willing to change the way you work by implementing the use of pivot tables. Don't be mistaken, pivot tables are not the end-all answer to all analysis done in Excel. They have their time, they have their place, but knowing what they are and what benefits they provide will allow you to apply them appropriately. Once you're able to recognize when to implement them because a benefit can be seen, then you need to know how to get to work creating them. As is usually the case, Microsoft gives us more than one way to create pivot tables. Regardless of the method used to create the pivot table, you'll always need to have data that is an appropriate data source. Just like the beautiful charts you see that Excel can create that are based off of worksheet data, pivot tables also require source data and not all data is appropriate or will benefit from pivot tables. Once you understand what types of data work best, you'll be able to easily identify good candidates based on the raw data itself. Knowing your data is important. The other thing you'll also have to do is to ask yourself what it is that you want to know from the data. In other words, what question is a pivot table going to help you answer? This will allow you to select the best creation method. As you'll learn, the end result is basically the same but the method you use can simplify and expedite getting to the endpoint. Many times once a pivot table is structured, it's also finished. Quick and easy, you make it and it's done. But sometimes you want to further refine your pivot table design. This is when knowing the parts of the pivot table and how to manipulate those different components becomes important. Much of this is the focus of other chapters, but at this point, knowing what tools are available will be helpful. This includes general settings, as well as how to view the data that underlies summary calculations. These concepts are so important that unlike many series I provide where all the theories is in the very first video of a chapter, they will be each covered in their own videos, including why you should use pivot tables, identifying pivot table parts, preparing data for pivot tables, the changes and enhancements that have been found in different versions of Excel from 2007 to 2013, three methods for creating pivot tables, how to view the detail behind summary calculations, and finally, a few of the general pivot table tools. With the information in the rest of this chapter, you will be able to create functional, informative pivot tables that summarize and simplify your data.